want to worship the King of Kings for what he is doing in our lives. We want to appreciate the Lord for giving us victory. And I want us to lift up our voices Wherever you are this morning, just lift up your voice and say to God, You are my God, and there is no one like you. Say to God, I thank you for giving me another opportunity. I give you thanks. For giving me another time of worshipping in your presence. Giving glory. Worship his majesty. Giving praise. For him alone is God. There is none like him. Who was and is and is to come. Mofa Lebran Tobo Sakim Asaiba. Zashte Bale Karabo Sombe Tatuma Salia. O vanamianto, brelo du kaki ista zwananato. Breli dan toba zinga vasai. Reka gu fasto marilian to ombe lata. Give God praise. For he has done it. Give God glory. Because of his bountiful mercies, worship him. Peru Tabankaya, Zemali Trobos, Bevarino Sankai, Ontri Laburina Saraba. We give you praise. We worship you, Lord. Makambo Sonavalia. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to read 1 Peter chapter 2. And then we're going to pray. From verse 1, the Bible says, Therefore, rid yourself of all malice, all deceit, all hypocrisy, all envy, and all slander. Like newborn infants, Desire the pure milk of the world, so that by it you may grow up into your salvation. If you have tested the Lord, that the Lord is good, as you come to him a living stone, rejected by people, but choosing and honored by God. You yourself as living stone, a spiritual house, are being built to be a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ for it stands in the scripture. 
See, I lay a stone in Zion, a choosing and honored cornerstone, and the one who believes in him will never be put to shame. So honor will come to you who believe, but for the unbelieving, the stone that the builders rejected, this one has become the cornerstone and a stone to stumble over and a rock to trip over. Glory to God. I want you to understand how this system works. The Bible said that you under the sound of my voice this morning is a spiritual house that God is being built. Is God has set you up that way so that you will offer a spiritual sacrifice that is acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. That all your sacrifice will be accepted. There is no acceptance to the sacrifice outside the spiritual house. That's why I began to read the first one what will actually make your sacrifice an authentic sacrifice, an acceptable one? And what will bring to your address a spiritual house? There are things that need to be taken out of that house. And it is marked with a stairs. You know, when you are reading and they mark some of the word stairs, that means that those stairs that they marked on it means that it is very, very important. You cannot do without filling that gap. So this time around, God says, read yourself. The power has been given to you. But now, you need to get rid of malice. All malice, not some of them. Not some of them that look so easy. And some of them that look so pretty. Or some of them that you have judged in your head that this one is go easy. He said all malice, all, all, all of them, that regardless of what the person has said to you 10 years ago, 50 years ago, that malice need to plunge out. You need to get rid of it from your heart. You need to take it away. And it says, all deceit. Deceit. Stop deceiving. Don't deceive people. If you say you're going to do something and you're not able to do it, just let the person know that you can't. No deception. Don't tell good morning when you mean bad morning. Got to mean what you say and say what you mean. Don't be diplomatic. Diplomatic and diplomacy and deceitfulness, they are brothers and sisters. Your diplomat must be in line with the word of God. Have you ever tell yourself, Imagine if God is using diplomacy on you. 
Women says, I will bless you. But in his heart, he didn't really want to bless you. He really want to deal with you. He really want to mess you up. But he says, I will bless you. In blessing, I will bless you. I want you to begin to understand this. What will make your house a spiritual house? Where spirits descends and ascends. Where angels descends and ascends. Your house will become a spiritual airport. Where spirits land. When I mean spirits, I mean when angels are visiting places, they will land to your house first. Just because of how beautiful that house has been built. I'm not talking about a house that is meant or built by hands. But the house that God has set up by himself, which is you. When you begin to get rid of malice, get rid of deceit, get rid of hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. Do not... Be saying another thing in my absence. And when you see me, you start smiling like a goat. It doesn't make sense. I want you to understand that all these things will make your house a mundane house. A house of mortality. We are talking about immortality. We are talking about spirits. And the Bible says that we cannot worship God but in truth and in the spirit. If we cannot worship God but in the spirit, it means that if your house is still operating under the level of mortality, that it is possible that you are not worshipping God. Glory to God. I didn't say it. The scriptures say it. Glory to God. And all slander, no matter how angry you are, if you don't know what to say, shut your mouth up. Don't say nothing. Be quiet. Glory to God. This is how it is. Just don't say it. All slander. You must get rid of it. Before you say it, tell yourself, am I slandering? Because this will disqualify my house. And I want you to understand that when you begin to walk and build your house as a spiritual house, glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says you will be chosen and you will be honored. It says, see, I lay a stone in Zion. That stone is doing two things. That stone is either honoring you or dishonoring you. That stone becomes a stumbling stone that you cannot pick. Listen. That stone is so slippery that, you know, some shiny, glistering stone that you cannot just stand on it by the power of mortality. No. Flesh cannot stand on it. The only thing that can stand on that stone, let me explain to you. That stone that we are talking about is so shiny, is so smooth. So slippery that the mortality cannot stand. No skin, no flesh can stand on that stone. The only one that can stand is the spirit. Spirit. Spirit has the power to stand there. And not all kind of spirit. But those with the spirit of God. Holy Spirit. Of God. I want you to understand it. So you are choosing. You will be honored. Because you believe. And you will never be put to shame. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray this morning. That your house. 
becomes a spiritual house. I want you to pray. Say, Lord, I'm getting rid of all malice this morning. Every malice must go. Every malice. No more malice in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Say, I decree this morning, no more malice. Because I want my house to be spiritual. No more malice in the name of Jesus. Decree and declare it. No more deceit. No more deceit. No more deceit. Deceit shall not near my house. Deceit shall not near my children. Deceit shall not come close to them. I reject every deceit this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set them on fire. I set every deceit on fire. Every spirit of deceit. Abano of fake career. Zampa otolo zuare ma shandele bebos. Rukaba afari motaiba. Yes, every hypocrisy. You cannot follow me to work. You cannot follow me to my office. You cannot follow me home. I reject you this morning. Open your mouth. Say a decree that hypocrisy shall not follow me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Emma Poradia. Yunkaba Anfenabu Talia. Yes, Lord. I reject every envy. Every envy that I've resided in my address for a very long time. I command you out. Out. Out in the name of Jesus. I reject every envy. Mapalantudu Zedeni. Zedeni Makuraba. Yende le parima baure sege bodai. Oh, baligeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregeregereg
We reject the portions of unbelieving believers. We reject the portion of unbelievers. Ha! We reject it this morning. Yes, we are honored and we shall be honored. We shall continue to be honored in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. I want you to pray this morning. Say every shame that is designed against me this week I reject it every shame every shame I reject every shame no shame shall come to me no shame shall come to my wife no shame shall come to my children no shame shall come to my family no shame shall come to my siblings reject every shame in the name of Jesus Christ we shall be in honor in the name of Jesus. Make it for a token of a man. Rubber the cock of it. Tansinama. Japare bakata. Japare bakata. Japare bakata. Japare bakata. If you have a remote of brand of us, no shame. We reject every shame in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Begin to wave your hand wherever you are this morning. Begin to wave your hand. Begin to wave your hand. Begin to wave your hand. Somebody with very high blood pressure. Your blood pressure is very high uh, this morning. Mighty God, I pray. I want you to just place your hand on your head. The Lord said I should pray for you to bring it down. It shall not cause any harm it shall not cause any shame. Mighty God, I demand this morning that every high blood pressure will come down to normalcy right now. We'll be brought to normalcy in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, regular high blood pressure. Prana. Yes, Lord. And I pray for everyone that is sick. Everyone that is sick. Somebody that has a shoulder problem. Your shoulder is paining and it's radiating from your neck down to your shoulder, going down to one to your to your right hand. I want you to just raise that hand up. Just manage to raise it up because the Lord is going to heal you right now. I demand for a healing. Yes, receive your healing now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God. I pray for that person that is having irregular menstruation. I pray right now that you will control the issue. Mighty God, take charge. And I speak to you that there will be no harm in the name of Jesus Christ. Campero Bufele Camburia. But they as key as Osarim of a toe, Bam Vebaruk as a lotrimai, Baputanica, Viva Rutos as Sisaizo, Wepra Ve Anke Colasi. I pray that everyone sick, no matter the sickness, no matter the disease, I command healing now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Mighty God, I pray for your protection upon every head and every ear that is listening this morning. And even the ears that will listen after. And even the heads that will be brought later. I pray, mighty God, that you will protect every one of them. Protect everyone. Let your protection be upon the mighty God. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your family. I cover your children. Going to school, coming back, you are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Going to war, coming back, you are covered. No accident, no car accident, no tripping over in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, no falling off your staircase. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you 
with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I cover your house and I cover your properties. No gone man or gone woman shall attack you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Before I go, there is somebody who is going to encounter an argument. An argument. Don't say a word. That argument is set up to destroy you. Don't say nothing. When they start, I want you to be conscious of this. When the argument erupts, whether as on the road or in your office, even in the house, don't say a word. Mighty God, I pray that you will take control of this situation. Mighty God, I give you thanks because you are gracious. Take control in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.